Well, it was a it was a great win. We knew it was going to be a hard fought game. We knew it was going to be a four quarter game, and uh, to go on the road and win a conference game is hard. It's not easy, and then to do it in the elements that we had to play in that first half was was. Uh, was miserable. I mean, it was. It wasn't just sprinkling. It was raining hard, and uh, you know, we threw the ball good. We caught the ball good. We snapped the ball good. You know, we made plays in the passing game despite the elements. Uh, you know, and in the second half, we were able to to run it. You know, good enough to give us a chance to keep the clock running and move the ball. We still made some plays in the passing game. Um, we lost two linemen in the first half. And uh, we had two guys in there hadn't played much, and I thought they did a nice job, both in the pass protection game and the run game. You know, we lost. Uh, you know, Bones didn't play. You know, he got hurt yesterday or Thursday in practice. So, uh, and then uh, Jamarcus got hurt in the game. So, you know, we we were down some people. And Florida Atlantic's got a good football team. They got good athletes, and uh, this was a great win for us. And just the competitive spirit, the fight, the toughness that we played with. Uh, on both sides of the ball and in the kicking game uh, was fun to watch. The big thing is you talk to your team all the time about being disciplined. And, and that's a penalty, you know, a 20 penalty. And ultimately it hurt them. And, uh, you know, because it, it's a walk-in touchdown, you know, it's going to tie the game up. And, uh, you know, they made a mistake, unfortunately for them and fortunately for us. But it just goes back to the discipline that you that you play with, and uh, so I'm proud of our team. And then, you know, we had them, we stopped them, I guess, on third down, uh, the first time, and it's going to be fourth and long, and uh, we get a rough in the passer, uh, puts the ball first and goal on the five, I think it was. And our, our defense bowed their neck. You know, they they kept playing. Quay made a nice play. TT made a nice play down there. Uh, we kept the heat on. You know, and ultimately we got some pressure and the ball slips out of the hand, we, you know, we get a fumble. You know, so it's just the, the competitive spirit and the, the never give up, the never quit mentality that you play with. Uh, snap it one more time. Keep the ball in front of you and make them snap it one more time. You don't know what's going to happen. That's a defense played with great relentless effort. That's a, I say it all the time, that's a testament to the offensive line. Uh, you know, they done, do a phenomenal job. I mean, you got guys on the outside making making plays, man. Uh, Richie James ahead. Uh, you know, even Frazier had a couple big plays today, Terry Pettis. But, you know, I mean, that's a good honor, but, you know, it's a testament to those guys around me. He's done a great job this, this year throwing the ball. He's got a, the offensive line has done a good job, you know, protecting him. And he's got, you know, some good receivers out there, not just Richie, not just Ed. Uh, Terry's made plays, Frey's made plays today, uh, but uh, anytime an individual uh, sets a record or does something special, he doesn't do it by himself, and, and Brent will be the first one to tell you that you know, he's got good people around him, uh, and they deserve a lot of credit too, just like, you know, Richie. Richie hadn't made these catches by himself, you know, he's got... The Lions giving him time to, to get open. Uh, Brent's throwing him the ball well. So, uh, but it, it's it, it's nice to see players, individual players, have individual success like that uh, because they work so hard. So I'm happy for Brent, happy for Richie, and because uh, they're both very humble. They're very team oriented players, and uh, I didn't know he passed. That's great that he passed for three thousand.